and I'm gonna there so first thing we would do we need to know the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator so I differentiate that numerator what's the derivative of the numerator was 2 times 6, so 12x. And the derivative of the plus 7 is 0. Now the derivative of the denominator. What's the derivative of the denominator? Just a 2x. So now using the quotient rule, we get y prime equals... I'm going to draw the big fraction bar. It's the derivative of the numerator. The uh, derivative of the numerator is 12x times the denominator. The original denominator is x squared plus 6 sine minus the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of the denominator is just that 2x times the numerator. The numerator is the 6x squared plus 7. In the denominator we have the original denominator x squared plus 6 quantity squared. Any questions up to this point? Now, hey, we can simplify. We can cancel an x squared plus 6 above and below, right? No. What did I say about canceling a lot when you're using the quotient rule? If you're doing it, you're doing something wrong. Okay. So now we're going to go through. Distribute the 12x over the x squared plus 6. That'll give me a 12x cubed. Keep going. Plus 72x. Okay. Okay. Hey, this is working out very nicely. Minus 14x. We took the 12x times those two terms. We took the negative 2x times those two terms. And in the denominator, we still have the x squared plus 6 quantity squared. When using the quotient rule, very rarely do you want to expand that denominator. The denominator is already in factored form. You have a quantity squared there. So resist the urge to write that twice and foil it out. Very rarely will you want to do that. Combining the like terms in the numerator, what have we got? Okay, so the 12x cubed minus 12x cubed, those are gone. 72x minus 14x gives me 58x, is that what you said? 58x. And in the denominator, we still have the x squared plus 6 quantity squared. Any questions there?